So let's get started. What is immutability? Uh, the concept of something being immutable means, you know, at a very basic level, once it's created, uh, you cannot change it. Uh, I usually take a silly example uh, where you, you know, you, 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 you say, let's say you say something like, that's a red shirt. Uh, and then somehow it turns into blue. Uh, no, in the world of uh, distributed ledger technology, uh, immutability is a criteria that must be uh, met, or must be uh, implemented at all costs. Because ultimately, what we want is data that we can trust. Uh, people will not have any possibility to tamper uh, with and that guarantee uh, a certain level of uh, security. So um, <clears throat> the next thing we will talk about is auditability. So once we have transparency and uh, data exposed in such a way that uh, you know, it cannot be tampered with. Uh, and then we get auditability for free because anyone willing to access the uh, network and um, analyze data uh, has that possibility without any worry of modifying it or playing with it. So <clears throat> in general, distributed ledger technologies and um, blockchains more specific uh, in a specific in this specific case uh, act as uh, archives um, the blocks uh, end up being read only uh, for their lifetime and making sure <coughs> they you know bring some level of facility in auditability and uh, also uh, indicating where the uh, transaction comes from at any time, uh, assuming that we add some metadata to the transactions at the time of their construction. So lastly, we um, an emergent characteristic that is really interesting is programmability. And, uh, you know, it's commonly called smart contracts, which is simply a piece of software that uh, can live on the distributed ledger technology and it can be programmed to, you know, distributed ledger technologies are, are nowadays programmed to execute those pieces of codes. Uh, first of all, uh, they get, you know, some uh, the same characteristic that uh, uh, distributed ledger technologies exhibit, such as uh, immutability, auditability, uh, you know, uh, although it's actually uh, code. And also uh, these codes cannot be changed. Well, that's the immutability characteristic. And um, what's happening is that uh, a lot of blockchains are now incorporating this uh, you know, possibility to actually uh, write these smart contracts uh, that will be triggered uh, based on the, you know, um, occurrence of uh, certain uh, satisfaction of certain uh, conditions between multiple parties. So ultimately, this allows a transaction to be automated, uh, but in a secure and most importantly, transparent way. So that concludes uh, this fourth module. Um, just let's just run very quick through what we uh, we've learned. So we started with uh, running through uh, all the uh, functional and emergent characteristic that we are observing with the distributed ledger technologies. Then we uh, focus on three of them: uh, auditability uh programmability and uh lastly uh immutability 
uh, we talked lengthy about those making sure that we grasp uh, what they are meant for and how they play uh, what role they play in uh, in distributed ledger technology so the next module uh, that we're going to uh, talk about uh, is You know, the next module, as I was saying, is going to be on, you know, making sure that we understand how DLTs can replace traditional bookkeeping record methods. Uh, so, uh, see you there.